grunge means anything to you guys now? Just don't say it when you go to Seattle. <laughs> Right around 92, everyone just curled up and started having their stomachs scratched by Sony. And they, they kind of went, and old people like me are going, you know, back in my day, we would have blown that up. And they're like, shut up, you old man. And you're like, well, okay. This is All Things Flannel and Thermal on 89.3 WCSB, Cleveland. grunge thing that this in quotations grunge all I want to know is where did the term come from I have no idea I think some of the rumors are that um, Jonathan Poneman said it one time sarcastically and it just caught on that? he's um, one of the head honchos at Sub Pop Records like you know like a phoenix you know like he cut them down like wheat before the sickle Whoosh! you know you are done this is all things flannel and thermal on 89.3 wcsd cleveland What's up, you bunch of losers? This is All Things Flannel and Thermal. I'm your host, Graham Beck. We are broadcasting from the bowels of Cleveland State University and in studio, just hanging out, a couple of all-around nice guys. I got Magnetic Tapes. What's up, guys? What's going on? Hey. How we doing? Oh, you know. So we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> so who'd you guys vote for? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are your views on communism yeah, today? <laughs> Do you agree that there's no gold backing up our currency anymore? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're here to uh, talk about fiat currency, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> or crypto. Bit, crypto Bitcoin. Currency. Bitcoin, yeah. like, not a thing anymore? No, I think it I think it crashed. It really? Just, like, yeah, crash just, and burn? This is terrible, because I just found out about it, like, six days ago. Ah, uh, you missed <laughs> it. I missed the wave. You missed the boat. I know. Womp womp. So tell me about uh, magnetic tapes. So Magnetic Tapes is a, uh, a two-man project right now that we're scoping, scaling rather, to, uh, to do the live thing. But right now we just make a bunch of uh, electronic sort of poppy songs. Uh, we have a home studio that we do everything in. And um, yeah, we have <laughs> kind of been making music together for 20 plus years. We're old, but we decided to actually <laughs> make an honest go of it and try to share it with the world for the first time. And uh, why don't you introduce yourself to Cleveland if they don't know you already? Yeah, so uh, my name's Keith, and... Uh, and I'm Josh. And, and we it. are the Magnetic Tapes. Just just There's only two people, so... <laughs> just two tapes. Short intro. That's awesome. So you were saying off air that you guys kind of record at the house and then you take it... Yeah. To yeah. Go through that process. That was kind of interesting to me. Right. Because I know a lot of people kind of in the, the realm of what you guys are doing... We'll just straight, like, home record, yeah. and then that's it. Yeah, it's convenient that way. I mean, if you have the capabilities or the means, it's obviously cheaper and more convenient, but you also want to get a good product. So we, so what we do is we do everything. We write and record all the instrument parts in the studio at Josh's place, and uh, 
We got a studio that we take everything to to do mixing and mastering, just to bump up the quality a little bit more so than we can kind of do on our own. So we go to uh, we go to a spot called Playroom Recordings. Yeah, Playroom Playroom Recordings, North Ridgeville, Curtis Leonard. Yeah, I'm gonna he, give him a plug. Yeah, go uh, please. Playroomaudio.com. <laughs> He's, uh, he's the guy that I actually went to audio school and I interned with him like in 2008. Where was that at? It's in North Ridgeville. He's, a, he's in North Ridgeville. He's got a, basically has a home. It's a basement studio, but he's he's legit. He knows legit. what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's been doing it for like as long as we've been writing music. So he knows his stuff. So, yeah, I interned there and then went to audio school and then I bought all the stuff to record and we record at the house and then we take it to Kurt. Where'd you go to audio school? Not here. I'm asking. The, I'm asking the <laughs> questions now. Try. Yeah, see. you guys don't even need me. I'm yeah. gonna go on break. Yeah, and, I'm gonna uh, take we'll five. Take right Let me know when you guys are done. That'd be yeah. great. Yeah, with the try C. But yeah, so that's the process: record at home, write and record, and 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 then take it to Kurt Kurt Leonard for for mixing. So hell yeah. yeah. Well, let's uh, let's spin some tunes. I'm gonna load up your guys' stuff. We'll come back and. Uh, Get Cleveland acquainted with uh, the magnetic tapes. Oh, yeah. Right. Sound Sounds good? good. All right. Uh, 216-687-3515 is the number. You want to ask these guys a question. You want to get a request in. Just want to call and give us your opinion on Bitcoin. Whatever you want to do, <laughs> that's the number to do it. Uh, but first, we're going to start with our ring. This is all things flannel and thermal.
This is All Things Flannel and Thermal. I'm just going to cut this song off because I didn't realize it was like 18 minutes long. All right, we are back with Josh and Keith, known as Magnetic Tapes. Uh, guys, Tinder Deception. Thoughts? <laughs> oh, man. It's fun. Yeah, is it's, it's a lot of fun. Battle? Is, this is there a right way to battle? Tinder? Is there a wrong way to Tinder? I don't know. What are, I the, think what are the ethics? Maybe, maybe, no. Is, it just, is my answer. Just no. It's like Westworld. It's like a new frontier, you know, Ooh, with yeah. a lot of androids and robots. Only your phone. Just your phone. Just yeah. your phone. Just your yep. phone and you. Yep. So uh, you guys started talking about how long you said you've been playing music together for like 20 years. Like, yeah. Yeah, obviously you haven't been doing Shout this out. style this whole whole yeah. time, have you? No. no. We, uh, <clears throat> we started out like a lot of people our age with playing really bad pop punk music yeah. <laughs> on a four track on a four track we yeah we, yeah, we recorded set. two tape literal <laughs> tape which we still have a lot of those which yep. we'll probably Animal. not be playing any of that today no well, yeah. I mean unless you want to no we're, we're gonna leave that it's in the archive we're gonna leave that okay. in the archive there. <laughs> but yeah no it was a slow evolution I mean we you know I lived in Las Vegas for 11 years so that kind of put a put a big stop on things for a while but that'll do it but, you know, we would keep in touch, and I'd come back, and we would just kind of hole up and make a song a year, just kind of, like, do that. And then I came back here about seven years ago, and then um, did a bunch of other bands. I was in some punk bands here in Cleveland. I'm in a hardcore band now called Significant Loss. And uh, But me and Josh have always done our thing, and now we're kind of trying to make it more of a thing. Okay. Does that makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. So when, when you were in Las Vegas, Josh, mm -hmm. what were you doing? I, I was doing, we were doing similar music. It was the pop punk turned into emo, turned into the screamo, screamo days. Mode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, the used, I remember Finch, all those. You yeah, know. so we were... You, you know. I remember, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the thing. So we were doing that. I was doing that in my own band. He was doing something similar in Vegas during that time. But during the, during the times he'd come home for vacation, which would be like a week, we would just get together and we would write usually stuff that wasn't anywhere near what our bands were doing we, it would be acoustic it would be uh, you know semi-electronic based we were kind of forced to use you know a synthetic drums and things because we were only two people and stuff and that's kind of how we found the keyboard and, and kind of started heading that way slowly yeah, yeah. it started tinkering yeah. Uh, well, I had an old okay. Yamaha yeah, old it Yamaha took us a while. To, it took us a while to get to where we are now. <laughs> like the old Casio. Yeah, it was. It was. I used to play drums with my two fingers, like chicken yeah. pecking, like oh, yeah. keyboard keys, and that's what I was the drummer. And tell people he was the drummer, and <laughs> I would tell yeah, people. I would literally tell. Yeah, I play the drums. He plays the drums. I've never <laughs> touched the drums. He doesn't have a drum sticker kit or the, kit or These anything. two index fingers, yep, baby. Right here, pew pew. It's right. <laughs> good times. So, so it literally kind of evolved over twenty years on and off of building up to what you said you've been doing this like steadily for about a year yeah we've been we've kind of i think we kind of came into like the realization that we want to do more of the electronic thing maybe that maybe like four or five years ago like we just kind of put the guitars down and again more for fun like i don't think we plan on sharing it we're just like wow this is fun and we like we like this but it's kind of it's really different and uh then i think last year we're like you know what Frick it, man. Let's just <laughs> keep doing let's it. Let's just do it and show people. Like it's not we like we're proud of this stuff. You know, we spend hours and days and months and weeks on these songs. So just to have them just for our own personal enjoyment started to not be enough. Right. It's and a little selfish, it, actually. It, it, yeah, you <laughs> when know? you get to a point when you when you put so much work in, it's like I, I would like someone to hear this. Right. I would, right. I would like some feedback. That would feel good. I mean, we don't need it, but it's like it's good, you know. You, you you want to get in front of people. I feel like we're not the only ones who like it, basically. Yeah, you know and, I mean, every artist wants you know some recognition of some point, yeah, you yeah. know, to a certain extent. It's, it's definitely good for motivation, you know what I mean, right. and it, it keeps you keeps you working hard. Yeah, we That's always joke that our parents, even though we both have <laughs> other you know jobs and things, are just like, why are you guys still doing that? You know? <laughs> yeah, like, we're not really doing anything, but like. Mom, when I started playing electronic music festivals in Detroit, <laughs> you'll see. Yeah, when I'm at the Electric Daisy Carnival <laughs> playing behind Zed and freaking Skittles. What's his name? <laughs> DJ Skrillex. We're the most uncool electronic musicians that really you'll ever meet in your life, too. Right. Yeah. If the people at home could see us, they'd be like, whoa. <laughs> well, yeah. if you go on Facebook, you can. Yeah. Yeah. We're there. We're part of What's that. that? You guys are all of it. Yeah, you guys got a uh, Facebook page, We have, page, we have right? Facebook. It is, it's Facebook Magnetic Tapes CLE. Okay. But we're, that's the uh, hyperlink. Just search out Magnetic but, Tapes But you could probably just CLE. search Magnetic Tapes because, you know, Facebook's got well, smart no, it's a little, algorithms. 
Yeah, it's true. I tried to <laughs> Google it, and it was just like... Well, took Google me into like, a different could, beast. Yeah, yeah. cassette That's tapes and beast. masking tapes and... Yeah, too much. we don't have the, uh, the SEO uh, presence yet. Not yet. Yeah. Not no. yet. We're working on we're, it. We're, we're like page 906 when you put it in. Yeah. If you keep going, you'll okay. find it eventually. Eventually you come It's across. a lot of the zeros. You know, the Google, it's like it just adds O's, and then you got to go like the 900th O, and then you'll see us right there. That's you. You're the 900th. Mm-hmm. All right, so you already told me, but tell the people about this Ed Sheeran. Yeah, that's what is we that thought. How you, is that how you I pronounce actually, what it? I call- That's, ooh. Oh, it's like, that was the S I got it. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. I'm sorry. Good. No, no, you're good. Uh, <laughs> but, that's what this is for. Oh, man. <laughs> you so know what? Get the hell out of here right I'm now. getting too cozy in here, Graham. This chair yeah. and everything. I know it's nice, right? No, so yeah, so the Zed Sheeran remix. So we uh, we were actually working on another track, and we were looking for just like a just like a nice, clean vocal sample that we could just throw in just and just kind of use that, you know, sparingly. And we ended up coming across this full like really nice stripped down vocal of Ed she- of Ed Sheeran who now we everyone's pretty aware who that is but we uh, have no shape idea shape of you shape of you yeah. we got this really clean sample and we're like this is really good vocal like this guy should be famous someday <laughs> <laughs> and we ended up just making we you know we just basically mixed music around his vocal i you know ergo remixing the song and then we found out that it was like the number one song in the country and he was like playing on Fallon and it was like this huge deal and we had no idea and uh, we were like, this is cool, so let's put this out. So we, put, we threw it on YouTube thinking, like, oh, man, like, people, like, love this song. It's got, like, 200 million views. Like, we're going to get we're gonna get some trickle you, down yeah, at least. Yeah, some of that runoff. Give yeah. us a third of that. Give us, great. Give us, a, like, 0.003% of that, right. and it's awesome. And 150 plays or something. <laughs> 150? <laughs> oh. I, I really don't know. I think what happened was... That the, is, like, the 900 zero. Yeah, <laughs> same deal. I think a lot of people, like, you know, thought the same thing. Well, thought what we didn't think of and just remix it to get sort of, you know, piggyback plays. So there's, like, 9 million remixes and our yeah, right. one of them. But we were proud of it. We think it's pretty cool. The most interesting thing is, though, is that we didn't hear the original song until after we were done with yeah. the remix. Like, I had That's no idea. Awesome. So I was actually yeah. excited when we... And, 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 like, midway through, I found out it was, like, a a number one song so like I purposely didn't like search it out till I was done with the remix then yeah, I we didn't back. want it to corrupt our vision yeah <laughs> we didn't want it to sway us we wanted to be pure and then we, I went back and it was fun for me to like listen to the original for the first time after the remix was done I was like and it cool, sounds it's not that bad. it sounds <laughs> slightly similar it I mean, has similar elements it has yeah. elements that are, that, are, that are similar so I don't know if that's good or bad but we definitely did not hear the thing until we were done with it and we were like oh Ours isn't w- way worse than the <laughs> some of the other ever. ones, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, let's uh, let's give it a listen. This is uh, Magnetic Tapes Shape of You Remix on All Things Flannel and Thermal. Boosh. I'm in love with. I'm in love with the shape of you Push and pull like a magnet I'm in love with the shape of you Push and pull like a magnet Best place to find the lovers of the bar is where I go Me and my friends at the table doing shots Drinking fast and then we talk slow we talk for hours and hours about the sweet and the sour And how your family's doing okay And even get in a taxi, just in the backseat Tell the driver, make a radio play And I'm singing like... Singing like...
find the lovers at the bar is where I go Me and my friends at the table doing shots Tripping fast and then we talk slow And you come over and start up a conversation with just me And trust me, I'll give it a chance Now take my hand, stop So what you're hearing now is the original Ed now I want to keep calling him Sheridan. Call him Ed Sheridan. <laughs> that's, that's Ed Sheridan. I know. I just found out. Let's get that trending. This guy, this, it's a white ginger uh, guy from England, which is, I don't know, kind of disappointing. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> it made it more enjoyable for me when I saw him because he looks just not like a person he looks like think a would sing dork. this song. I love that, though. It's so unconventional, you know? Right. It's, it's a good thing. So it's cool. So like, what, what, went through, what went through your head when you finally did listen to him, like... Making those little comparisons, I think I laughed because I, I realized, like, like I was just telling you off air, like some of the elements are are like really similar, and we had not heard it. Like the like you can hear these kind of bells, <clears> this <throat> bing, 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 like that whole thing. We have something like that going on in our thing, and it's completely unintentional. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like we could have did anything. Like could have made like a kraut rock version of that. Yeah, right. Or, like, <laughs> Like a like a weird anything like any like emo, drum and bass pop, sort of thing. Or, and, yeah, right, right. And we just totally went the same direction. It was kind of cool. It was cool, really. It's what went through my head. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think that. There, there, do we write some of the music first before we even got that line? Because uh, I, I feel like we might have started the beginning of the music, and then we're like, let's make this a, a remix, and went out and, and, and looked for the the thing in it. And again, it magically right. the BPMs, which you know. Beats per minute, if you don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not you. I'm talking about the audience. The, the audience. I know that you know. <laughs> do I know? <laughs> Does he? How uh, do you know I know? I just... I Graham actually doesn't know anything station. about music. I'm actually not supposed to be in here right now. Oh. This is, <laughs> this I don't is actually a have show? a show. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's why that guy was chasing us down earlier. <laughs> but uh, it just... Yeah, the, the BPM magically, her tempo lined up to what we already had, which, you know, was a pretty much stock BPM, which is probably like 120. 120. I, don't know. I think ours yeah. is a, like, a click slower. Like, yeah, so I had, like, I had to manipulate we, the vocals and stuff. We here. slowed him down a little bit. And then we, we threw a little cough syrup them. on him, you know? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Some scissor up. Some syrup. Plugins Zerp. made it sound crazy. Cool. This video is goofy. Never seen it. Yeah, don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we Whatever. didn't get that far. Yeah. We didn't get that I, deep you in. You're already farther than we are. Yeah, I can't even listen to this. No offense, Ed Sheridan. Cool. Well, that's. I mean, that's awesome. So you got a you got a brand new one out. Yes. Yeah. Looks like uh, around a month old. Yes. Oh, I don't want to start this. Oh, we're gonna listen to that later. I pulled some Sabbath for you. There yeah. You go. There you go. Um, yeah. The power. Yep. Yeah. That's the the latest. That's yeah. Right. That's the power's out. That's the joke. Get yeah. it going. <laughs> call it. Call the Illuminating Company. Has, hashtag powers out. <laughs> yeah. Hey yo. So, uh, what's the uh, impetus behind this? Yeah, so this one came together pretty quick. Uh, so what we're doing right now, the biggest kind of thing that we're kind of trying to talk about is this record that we're, push, we're pushing out or trying to put out. And it's eight songs, and uh, we're looking for hopefully a late spring release of it. And by release, I mean we're going to put it on SoundCloud in like May. Nice. And uh, it's all going <laughs> to get mixed and stuff like that. But So this is kind of one that is it came together fast, so we wanted to put something out just to kind of have people like aware of us. Before we drop the record or whatever, the record's called Tell Me What I Am, by the way. Tell Me What I Am. Tell Me What I Am. Okay. And uh, so the power was just, you know, we wanted like a, like a single or whatever, just so we can share it with friends and be like, yo, we're doing this. And, you know, I think when we released it a month ago, I literally text messaged like 100 people directly and was like, hey, let me know what you think of this because we're putting out this record and I got we got some good feedback on it. So yeah, it's like our single, I guess. Um you know, the SoundCloud plays aren't really that tight to look at. It's more of a YouTube. So we did a video for it, which is a cool thing, um, which you should look at that. You did. Um, yeah, this is the first time we've done this. We did a, um, we basically took some footage from this uh, old movie called Attack of the Bee Girls. Invasion. Invasion of the Bee Girls. 1970. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you know yeah. it? You've seen I, it? I've heard of it. I've yeah. never, I it, God, it's, I almost want to say there's a horror. poster. We got a bunch of like B movie posters out there. It's, oh, that'd be funny that's if that was one of them. That would be so. <laughs> if you have that, I'm gonna you know, steal it. <laughs> but yeah, so delete we, it. <laughs> did, oh gosh, shoot! No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, so we we wanted to do like an old school like um, B movie mashup to our music, and we kind of recut the movie. I mean, the movie is like a goofy, like you know, like weird horror late 70s movie yeah. but we kind of cut out a bunch of stuff and kind of made it seem more of like a like a romantic narrative with like the 
t- two lead characters in it. So it's really, I don't know, it's got nothing to do with bees anymore. No. <laughs> Which is kind of... It, it totally feels different than the original movie. We just, we make a narrative out of the, the interactions between the, the, the characters and stuff. But the coolest part of it is it, it was it was under Creative Commons. And, yeah, um, so we can't get sued, kids. Yeah. It was Creative oh, nice. Commons, and, and we were looking at like a public domain website, and we were basically, the only criteria was we need a male and female character interacting and we want the, the, the look to be vintage but like a certain kind of vintage I, I didn't really I didn't want like the like super old uh, yeah, so we like didn't want to go like too far back like yeah. like black and white like fr- right. like French noir look, like, looking at that like kind of 60s 70s summer yeah, feel yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. also like cool not look. really psychedelic because a lot of that stuff was done very like especially right. like the more like indie or stuff that wasn't super huge like the you know stuff was always kind of tinged with a little bit of LSD so we didn't want that <laughs> right right <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with LSD. No, no. <laughs> but it had the look, though. So it was Creative Commons. It, it, it was a weird sci-fi B-horror movie, and it had these you know interactions that we could cut and make a narrative that had nothing to do with the, the actual movie. Right. And it just had that, that tint to it that... that it, it just it looked right. It was vintage, but the kind of vintage we were looking at, which obviously is nineteen seventy. Yeah. So after, <laughs> after you listen to the song, uh, everybody, if you look, look up the real, go movie. to yeah, YouTube. Look, what's the YouTube? Oh, the the YouTube is um, YouTube uh, slash Magnetic Tapes. Uh, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. But you just can to, actually. That one's kind of easy. You just, can yeah, put, just Magnetic go, Tapes the power. Go to YouTube. That's all you have to type, okay. type in Magnetic Tapes so the power, times. and it'll pop up. Yeah. Uh, I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. I, I I thought it was pretty cool. There's but if lo- you're on SoundCloud, there's, there's some side boob in it. it too. So if you're fa- side if you're, boob, if you're who doesn't like that. side boob? YouTube loves it. YouTube, YouTube is, loves it. It's in the side boob policy. tube. Side boob tube. <laughs> 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 All right, here's the uh, new single from the forthcoming album. Tell me what you. What is it? Tell me what I am. Tell me what I am from Magnetic Tapes. All things went on thermal. Boosh. Boosh.
picture is a fantasy There you go. Frames by Magnetic Tapes. Is that going to be on the new album? Yes. Yep. Yes, it is. So who who does uh, what in the band? Very interested. Good, on, good question. Thank you. Um, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting for that. Dude, I yeah. couldn't wait to I just blast in with... Just, just come out with this yeah, question. Believe it or not, we, we <laughs> share most of... The, I mean, we both program drums. Okay. We are both capable of writing a bass line. So wait, you guys are both drummers. Yes. Index drummers. Index, Index. drummers. Yeah, not actual <laughs> yeah. MIDI. I love it. We have, drum, we have a drum pad right. that we use, but no no actual, no analog, organic kick drum or any, you know, it's it's pads, it's triggering yeah. pads. But so, so you really pretty it, much it, split it, it right down yeah, the middle. Yeah, it just, every song's a little different. Someone usually starts something, so someone's going to, you know, write, write a synth line. And then we might have the other guy just jump on and mess with a bass line. And then someone, one of us is going to mess with drum. We, we really do share and we both met, you know, mess with the plugins and stuff. So it's, it's actually, there's no designated roles. Yeah. And we also, we try to, we try to keep it even too. Like I know a lot of bands or people like do, do what we do, try to, you know, maybe one guy will write a song and the other guy will write a song and they kind of put them together and that's the record. We, I think there's always a little bit of like, if there's one guy's got more influence in one of the songs, the other guy tends to kind of be a little less into it. Like, because we're just right, kind of selfish right. like that. Like, oh, this is just oh, this is just your song. It's just you your finish. song, so Why whatever. Why don't you just finish your song? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get a sandwich. Yeah, so yeah, it's like, okay, help. I've been doing a lot. Like, hey, yeah. you want to come over here and put some stuff in there? <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> that happens it's sometimes. Be under our name. But then that always, that always makes it way cooler because, you know, obviously having another person involved is going to change the direction of it because, you know, having to two different sort of directions put together it always makes both people happy and not expecting what comes out okay. like, yeah. like we'll, I'll start a song and I'll have a clear idea where it's gonna go and then he'll get involved and it'll go a different way and I'll be like whoa it's way yeah. better than I, what I had in mind so right. we it, found a way to make it both of ours and it doesn't even mean that we both put like as many tracks down but at the end of the day when decisions are made and everything everyone from the start of the song to the mixing by the end of it we we both get behind it we both put our stamps on it and it took years of working together to figure out how to do that because that's a really difficult thing to do (laughs) oh i'm sure just being musicians and being two guys trying to like create uh it took a lot of practice and you know took a lot of communication and, and failures a lot, a lot of, of songs. Failures. A lot of yeah. we have like fifty <laughs> demos. Um, that, that'd 50. be, a, that'd be like an interesting thing. We have 5, like fifty 000. unfinished songs probably on my computer that like Just didn't kind of make floating it all, like, out there. Because it, you know if some the other guy doesn't jump in, what happens is we tend to not finish the song unless we're both in there just for whatever reason. You know, yeah, so we'll just right. keep writing. It'll be like a almost like a, one of those like snake firecrackers that just burns and grows. <laughs> it just keeps going and then it just changes direction like nineteen times and then like. Yeah. And we do this thing that we, we joke about. We call it like what do we call it? Zeroing in. When we'll just yeah, like zooming in. We'll zoom yeah. in. We'll focus on like like a five second part of a song, but we'll spend like hours on it, like right, tinkering right. and like it'll be so like articulate <coughs> and like ornate. And then we'll pull like we'll like zoom out to the song, and then we'll play the song, and we'll get to that part, and it'll just not make any sense. It's like nope. <laughs> like wow. What so a waste we need of time. we need both. Or we need to be both invested to check yeah, ourselves. A lot of it is in, a, a, avoiding <laughs> right, those right. like yeah. those like creative wormholes <laughs> where you just fall into them and you like get lost. So pulling each other out of those and yeah, and, you know we have 
we have like like a lot of instruments kind of lying around. So while one guy's laying something down, the other guy's like screwing around behind him. Like, oh, this might be cool with that. And then right. that, you know, it's a lot of tag in, tag out kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So who's doing? Uh, is that? Do you guys split the vocals too, or is that? Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's pretty split. But you know, you know some some some. You know, Keith's singing more on one. I'm singing more on the other one. Maybe we'll do harmonies. It, it's just all feel. I yeah. mean, there's we're at the point now where we'll like tag each other in because we know you know their vocal will be better here. It again, that took years to get to to actually like step back and be like oh, yeah. you'd be better here than you know what I mean but mm-hmm. we've gotten there so that you know we yeah. share I think I think we're gonna write like a like an ebook for like people like to save these 20 years and like we'll just put it all in there for you because there's a lot of like a lot of dumb, lost time a lot of failures dumb time lot of, wasters you know, and ego things that like you could just not dealt with and maybe had more records under your belt than we do now. So. Yeah, well, you know. It's human nature. And who would have thought would they be any good but at But we this were point? having a good time. Oh, look at all the we fun you had. We were people. having fun. Look at all that fun. Kept us off the streets, <laughs> you know? Kept us out of trouble. Right. Yeah. So what's the uh, what's kind of the process then? Are you guys always in the same room doing this or being yeah. kind of more on an electronic basis? Do you ever, like, work we, remotely? Not living in the same state now initially when we first started really picking up the electronic realm we did start a couple songs and tried to do the bi-coastal thing and it was cool when and then, Keith was when in was Keith Vegas, Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah I call it bi-coastal bi-coastal that's, that's the, close enough yeah, yeah now we can probably get clear, clarification <laughs> if that's an actual term or not if it, anybody that, wants to call in and confirm that 216-687-3515 is, <laughs> is bi-coastal uh, bi- a real Vegas thing. isn't even on the coast and either is Ohio but that's what close we say close enough yeah <laughs> Yeah, about that. It's by coastal. That's that's the word. But um, we we started that sharing, you know, in Pro Tools and the same software and building a song. But as soon as as soon as you get here, it's essential for a good portion of the song for, for us to be in the same room. And then I would say maybe the last ten percent we could just talk about and one other person could do. You know right. what I mean? But yeah. it, it's I essential. think you can hear that too. I feel like you know a lot of bands of of all genres. Like you hear about groups like like metal bands who like live in different states and like will just like you know record parts at home and just play you know and you can do that especially when you're rehearsing but I think when you're writing you have to really have like that bond with that whoever you're with like the less time you spend together the less comfortable you're gonna be to try things and like that always bleeds into the music like I feel like you can pick out a band who like was put together or like didn't wasn't together when they were doing stuff because it just sounds just like compartmentalized like right. there's the bass there's the guitar but there's no like real relationship there so and yeah. it's easy for us because it's just two of us so yeah. being in like a, like a larger band like I have a band that there's four people five people in, and just getting everyone together <clears throat> I mean you you know you know how that goes oh, yeah. and like yeah. it's just hard to really like get to the point I mean we like it's like he said 19 years of like really getting to know each other as you know and as musicians and like now it's like uh, we're really quick if you feel like it's uh, a quicker process. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. can really. Dump yeah, I mean, them we out. have we have rules too. Like as far as we do want to both be there for a certain portion of the song's creation because that's how you both feel like it's a shared song, and that's how you uh, you know alleviate the egos and things like that. I think that being you know what I mean because if I just start a song and I say write a part to that or you have a small portion that that's it might not feel as, as both our songs and I think being in the same room. You're there, even if you're not doing anything. You, I, I could be directing Keith. He could be, he could be on the keyboard, right. and I could yeah. be like, "Oh, try this, try that." I've, I'm involved. It's another set of ears. Yeah, because that, that's what I mean. Like, like yeah. it's just having the the, the the involvement from both people. Yeah, not just being like equal parts of like actually like doing things, putting but, things to tape, but actually just being invested equally in whatever way that is. Sharing ideas, directions, do's and don'ts. I mean, I could just be right. on the couch. He could be on the computer messing around and I'd be like try this try that I mean that happens all the time because there's a driver's seat and the driver's seat is the computer chair Yeah, <laughs> right. there's a passenger seat which is the couch the, no it's the keyboard oh, sorry and then the back seat sometimes it's the couch when the back really, seat's the yeah when we're tired yeah, when is the Cavs game on it's usually yeah, the couch right, right yeah Cavs game's on mute it's a back seat yeah. oh yeah and then yeah so the back seat would be the couch so there's three positions you can be it's in it's a Ford Taurus that's what right. we use it gets two door great, great gas four mileage. door Great gas. Yeah, 90, 97, 147,000 miles. That's great. <laughs> one previous owner. One one previous owner. Um, so actually, both of you coming back in from like the world of pop punk, do you feel like there's any kind of great question blend that that kind of comes over from that, or is it pretty Melodically, separate? Yes. Yeah, slightly. we try not to do that. It happened a lot it's, more. It's instinctual. Er, yeah, early, earlier yeah. on, we were literally just making like, like in our, you know, I'd say, ten years ago, we were just making electronic pop punk at one point. Okay. And then we 
we made a conscious effort not to do that because we didn't want to do that anymore. Right. But I think melodically, it's just like being raised on anything. It's like, you know, it's just going to be a part of you. You know what I mean? Like the melodies that you respond to, the chord progressions that you, that get you, that grab you. Like, especially for as long as you guys did that. Yeah. yeah it's hard yeah. not to it's have that. It's hard to just kick that all the curb, but we yeah. really try to make a conscious effort to not do that as much as possible. Yeah. But as, as you can probably tell, there's a little bit of that element in there, but we definitely. It's not conscious though. It's just yeah. like the, right, the little right. part. That there's anything wrong with pop. No. I mean, the melodies are cool. So, like, I, I have no problem with that. I, I mean, I don't even... Only when I analyze it, maybe I could, like... If I'm you, being critical, maybe I could... Yeah. But just naturally, I, I would... I mean, if someone would ask me, I'd be like, no. But, like, I know that, like, there's just a little bit of that in our melodies, but it's... I'm not... I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm cool it, with yeah, it. Yeah. I'm cool but with it. But we also like, don't want to be, like... like Tom York, we don't want to have like he's like let's purposely make a weird thing that no one's done before. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to be too avant-garde about it. Like we'd still want it to be like like a song, a pop song, right? But just yeah, we want to get that you know that pop punk sort a of different yeah. scent out of there. Maybe as much as possible. maybe a little less punky. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A little less, a little less whiny, maybe. A little no nasals. <laughs> yeah. No nasally. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Well, I got to uh, do some PSAs. I'm going to spin this tune, and then we'll come back because I want to know what's coming up. You guys keep talking about live bands, live shows. Oh, yeah. So we'll do that. Play some more, and we'll get this uh, Sabbath on. Oh, awesome. Been waiting for that. All right. Uh, 216-687-3515 if you just feel like calling. Uh, all things flannel and thermal. CSB <laughs> Cleveland Oh dear, the radio's exploded Kids spend a lot of time on all sorts of ridiculous things They'll spend ages watching 
watching funny online videos, 197 straight minutes of playing a video game about alien picnics, which means they can spend two minutes twice a day brushing their teeth. Tooth decay is the single most common chronic childhood disease. That's why brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. To find out more, you can visit 2min2x.org. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. This has been a message from a partnership by Healthy Mouths, Healthy Lives, and the Ad Council. And WCSB. WCSB Cleveland. WCSB Cleveland. Oh, yeah. That was Cleveland. Ho, ho, ho. WCSB Cleveland. Oh, hello. WCSB Cleveland. That was kind of Mrs. Delphire. <laughs> Whoa. WCSB Cleveland. That was Joey from Blossom. <laughs> WCSB Cleveland! WCSB Cleveland! I pity the fool! Uh. Uh. WCSB Cleveland. That's what she said. Veterans can face treacherous situations filled with peril while serving our country. Many veterans come home physically injured with PTSD, traumatic brain injuries, or other ailments. With your help, treatment can be made available. You can help heal veterans. With the support of generous citizens like you, the Help Heal Veterans organization improves veterans' lives on a daily basis across the United States. For over 45 years, Help Heal Veterans has provided over 30 million therapeutic art kits and craft projects to these critically injured veterans at no charge to them. Doctors, therapists, and brain injury experts often recommend this type of therapy. Since the beginning of World War I, over 100 years ago, art and craft therapy has proven to improve motor skills, improve memory, and lessen anger issues in healing veterans. To volunteer or learn more, you can visit HealVets.org. Again, that's HealVets.org. Oh, giraffes are friendly and giraffes are cute. And giraffes also make this appalling little sound. Oh, sweet and kind giraffes, why do you make this horrible, horrible sound? Giraffes make that sound to wake up their moms, and so can you. Oh, here's a lovely song about my favorite food. Lima, Lento, Soy, and Pinto, Navy, Northern, and Garbanzo, Kidneys, and Frijoles, Negros, I love beans. I love beans. Woo! WCSB Cleveland. There's something for everyone. From the butcher shop. Who stole the kishka? Who stole the kishka? Who stole the kishka? Someone call the cop. Round and firm and fully packed. Get your baby bunny. They are born and friends. If you'd like to find out about how you can help bunnies or about how you can better take care of your bunny friend, you can visit the House Rabbit Society's website at www.rabbit.org. The 
This song is about all things flannel and thermal. Hang loose. Don't get too uptight. Quit your job. Grow marijuana. Slack off. Slack off. Don't work. Like it or not, you know, critics and fans kind of put this father's grunge thing. Are you got, Are you part of that? Do you like being identified as part of that Seattle scene? Or do well, you know? <laughs> like we always say, we'll take that respect down to the Cadillac dealership and yeah. see what they'll give us for right. it. <laughs> Hi, this is Susie from L7. The uh, Seattle sound, all the bands coming out of Seattle sort of exists in spite of the bad music scene in the city itself. There's no places to play. Hey kids, this is Dale from the Melvins. However, stuck to our guns, and we made a f***ing grunge record in 1995. Didn't get us very far. <laughs> Hour number two of all things flannel and thermal. I'm still your host, Grand Beck. It's 11 after four. I'm sitting here with Josh and Keith of Magnetic Tapes. What's up, Cleveland? Yo, yo. yo. Yeah, if you want to find Magnetic Tapes, they've got a uh, album coming out in the spring. They have a single out on SoundCloud called The Power. And you can find that by just Googling Magnetic Tapes The Power. Uh, YouTube works too. We got a little video for that, so you can yeah. go to YouTube and just type in "Magnetic Tapes the Power." Also on Facebook, "Magnetic Tapes CLE." See, and all, got all linked there. And the uh, Twitter, I believe, is. Don't say it. No, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> we don't have one. No. But yeah, we're we going to do a poll. A poll. Yeah. We're going to do a poll, though. <laughs> we're still going to do a Twitter poll. Yes. Where should Graham eat today, everybody? I know I'm hungry. You know what, though? I just made like a. a a huge thing of chili yesterday is so how I'm good. I'm sad. You're still set from yesterday. I just can't wait to go home. <laughs> I'm just, this is gonna be great. As I'm soon as this is over, that's a hell of a chili. Yeah, that's a hell of a chili. Oh, that, <laughs> also that chili for the medical students out there. Can you die from angina pectoris? And Ooh. is that a real thing? Yeah. Yep. Well, it is a Keith real thing because I've got it on the right here. A condition marked by severe pain in the chest, often. Also spreading to the shoulders, mm -hmm. the yeah. arms, and the neck. Oh, I got that for sure. Yep, uh, it's going down. Caused by an inadequate supply to the heart, a blood a supply. Blood flow. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a blood flow problem. That's what I got. I would imagine you could possibly pass away from it. At least I pass think, out. That's, that's I haven't yeah. passed stage. out yet. That would be the first sign. It's, really? It's a f I would think. It's fun to say, but it's, it's probably bad Angina. to have. Angina. Bad to have. Yeah, Angina. If, it's if one of those. If your, blood, if your blood to your heart feels like just like lava, cooling lava, is yeah. that bad? That's it. <laughs> pooling lava? Cooling, like it's oh, moving. Cooling, like it's like, jello? It's almost turned to rock, but it's still moving a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's probably not No, good. I wouldn't imagine that. That good. doesn't sound like blood flow. Okay, so if I can get 216 <laughs> CSU Med students Call listening. In. I'm sure I've got a ton of med Keith students listening to the show. I'm I uninsured, so it. I need someone who's not licensed That's right. to look Pro at me. <laughs> you can come up right now and give an, an, an exam on the air. I would really appreciate it. That would be awesome. Yep. I'll give you a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do this. You wanted to hear some Sabbath. Yes. So let's do some Sabbath, and then we'll come back and chat you up a little bit more.
Cool. All right.
Vince Neal's big fat face. Let's talk about it. I once got... uh, (laughs) I have a Vince Neal story. I'm with you, Graham. No good. No good. When I lived in Vegas, I once got kicked out of a booth at a a hotel bar because Vince Neal and his posse were going to come into the bar, and they wanted everybody out of the bar, and we were the only people in the bar. That'll do it. Yeah, that's why I'll take poison over Molly Crew. I was like, wouldn't it be cool if Vince Neal was like... You're making a good case. I'm just going to hang out. I'm just going to hang out. Like, you know... I'm a person. I'm just gonna like. I feel like Dave Grohl would have been like. He would have been like. He'd been like, "Hey man, just hang out. Just stay. You like, stay? just don't sit with me. Go over there. Yeah, just I don't, don't want interact you here, with but me. I, but you're you totally to fine to patronize this place. <laughs> right. Neil, go no, to the bar. Don't sit with me. I don't even want people around, <laughs> man. Like really? Right. So I promise, no, because, I promise you, I won't ask for your autograph, <laughs> look, man. Here's the thing. Trust me, I won't. <laughs> yeah. I think he's maybe he's more nervous of me like getting you know talked poorly to. Let's say that. Well, I think it was more he needed the. The room space for his face. Yeah. Just his face needed all the extra square footage yeah. he, it could get. Yeah, he uh, he wasn't looking good there for a while. No, no. It's been a rough uh, it's rough go of it after the, the crew days. And didn't they just, like, farewell tour? Yeah, they've been doing that for, like, six or seven Kind of like Kiss. Yeah. This has been on their fel- farewell tour since the 70s. <laughs> yeah, Good Lord. There's a band I don't like. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I don't buy farewell too. tours. Like if I like a, if I like an old guy band, I'll go see him. And I, you know, but I won't make an appointment. Like, this is the last. It's never it's, the last it's, time. It's never. If, well, it's all, the if, last, if everybody's uh, alive, right? It's never the last. Hey, I'm going time. to Ozzy's farewell in September. Oh yeah. Is well, he, well see, it, that it, might it's actually. It's his last world tour. Is what he's. He's uh, really. Yeah. He's real. Real. I thought that happened like four years ago. Like Lollapalooza was that was that was Black Sabbath. Like that was last world. Now it's Ozzy's, and now he's still going to do shows here and there. But he's not going on the world tour. I'm going in September. Good yeah, for well, it, good for you. Can't good do for it. me too. Good for everyone. Yeah, yeah. good 60, for you, Cleveland. Uh, Sixty-five. 
He's old. He's no, he's got to be. Oh, I'm yeah, I guess. Well, no, I, he's like slightly that. older than my dad, I know. So my dad's like 62. So he's like 66. Whoa, 67. you're just okay. going to age shame your dad on the air right now? Just like that. Hi, dad. Cat's out of the bag. <laughs> Josh's dad's in his 60s. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think he's yeah, worried about my it. My dad loves piss. it. He's been uh, 69 all year, and he's so bummed out when he turns 70. Oh. Now he can't make the joke. Oh, yeah. hey, That's a good joke, though. It all year long. It never gets old for him. Every day. Never man. gets old. Never gets old, dad, does it? Take advantage of it. You might actually be listening to. <laughs> He's gonna be like, "Hey, guess what? Guess how old I was last year?" <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, you could keep it going. You could keep that going. Keep it going. If you believe in it enough. Yeah. All right, so I'm sitting here with uh, Magnetic Tapes, uh, Keith and Josh. Yep. So we were just talking um, that last one. Hold out, hold your body. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna play that behind us. It's got like this really cool '80s vibe to it, and you were just kind of going over some of the instrumentation. Yeah, so go through that again. Yeah, so we we try to we you know we're big retro guys. We try to use a lot of older older instruments. We use some software, um, but some hardware as well. The Korg series, like the MS twenty, the Poly six, the Monopoly. Um, yeah, we're just a big fan of that era, and we, you know, there's like this whole like retro wave movement that's going on right now. Yeah, um, it's super super kind of nichey, but it's like it's very 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 eighties like. Um, just down to the chord progressions and like the arrangements. We're not that serious with it, but we do like to like you know, we, we, you know, we incorporate do, elements. We to do it, like basically. to pay homage to that. Yeah, the, the '80s drum samples, all those are yeah. kind of purposely done. You know, big Phil Collins guys. We, yeah. talk, we talk about the Phil Pesh Collins, Mode, Genesis. Face Value, 1981. I'm all over it. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, so <laughs> the drum orders. samples, the same synths. We use, but we use, we try to make you know modern. Uh, arrangements and then in the mixing phase we tried to make it uh, sonically equivalent to modern music yeah. using the 80 samples which are missing some of the low end they miss some of the stuff and, and you kind of you do stuff in the mixing to make it still sound big but yeah. so we're, we're not like retro wave which they're just they're, they're playing pure tribute to yeah. it. We're the just retro adding wave community in is very elite. Like you got to really be playing like yeah and you got to be a ripper on the it's keyboard. Gotta be, it's <laughs> yeah, got to right, be the, the guitar. Rules. Yeah. Yeah. And you you guys have a guitar? No, but we're gonna get uh, one. Right. <laughs> now that you, said I want to see that before you guys come in and play live. That's all I'm saying. Okay. No keytar, no dice. That's a. Uh, <laughs> right. It's getting tough That's in here. We can try. Yeah, things, in here. things are getting real. <laughs> things are getting real on old WCSB. Uh, so, uh, speaking of instrumentation, you guys had alluded to the fact that as this album uh, progresses further and comes out, you want to start doing live shows, but you don't want to just be those guys with the Sitting in front of a laptop, you actually want to have a live band. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We want, like, um, you know, there's a lot going on in all of our songs, but we definitely want to put forth as much as we can live. You know, to play something. There's probably, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What I call I call it hybrid. I call it a hybrid set where we're, u- we're utilizing the laptops, but th- we're going to, there's going to be more there. Maybe a drummer with uh, a drum kit and triggers, you know, electronic yeah. pads. Yeah incorporate that high what i call hybrid and then we're playing a synth and we're doing something so there's going to be you know there's going to be laptops you need the reinforcement there's so much going yeah, well, on we, there. we mm-hmm. could do stripped down so we've played with the idea of, of doing like the stripped down live versions of all these but we want to do we want to make them as close to normal and accurate as possible and that's going to be a lot you know there's going to be a little bit of backtrack going yep. going on from laptop which is fine but yeah real drums real bass real synth and real guitar some kind of performance and and, and real just... and real vocals we're not going to you know right yeah you're not going to just play those yeah we're not just going to hit play <laughs> and which you know maybe we will i don't know it's it's, <laughs> just, it's been a process trying to get it all together but it's one of those things you you want to do it right or not do it at all you know yeah and it seems like one hell of an undertaking to take what you can created essentially on the computer and yeah. duplicate that exactly. live with real that's, that's people. Gonna be, that's it's a huge battle. That's like the whole parts. next process that's be sweet. <laughs> of um, at, you know, writing, recording, and then all our focus is going to be trying to figure out what, what the live show is going to be. And we, we want some kind of hybrid set so I feel satisfied as like we're performing something. We're not just two guys hitting play on a laptop. Right. So and there's some, uh, we want some kind of performance. I, uh, you know, something reasonable to where, I, you know, we feel like musicians and, and <laughs> we feel like we're performing to people. But again, needing some reinforcement from the laptop. So somewhere in between there. Yeah. Somewhere in between playing stuff. And also having the laptops. Is yeah, and I, you know, we're not we're not trying to rush anything. Like, you know, we want to get this record out and share it that way. But 
we want to we're not going to play a show just because we you know want to keep ourselves in the in the mix i mean we are working hard at it right now but we got to make sure it's perfect and we're excited about it it's going to be fun rehearsing because all the parts are already written it's not like you have to write a song with a with a band it's like hey right here's your part here's your part here's your part and we get to all you know hearing it all together is going to be really cool but it's you know it's just about finding the right people and getting time to do it and Right, right. Make, making, you know, mixing in the levels. It's, it's very different than being in like a traditional a, a, a band, traditional right? band yeah. which I'm in. And that's, that's, you know, much easier to do that than what we're doing. But we're going to pull it off. It's going to be great. That's great. So uh, doing what you're doing now, what do you think about? And it's funny because, you know, the show I do, I typically have traditional bands on, you know, drums, bass, guitars, blah, blah, blah. Uh and I kind of have a, a general sense of what's going on around town, but for what you guys are doing, the the retro wave and and this and so what are, is there a, a bit of a scene for it? You feel like there's there's not much out there? Yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of part of it too. Is um, there's really not um, there's not much of a scene. I mean, there's, like there, locally, right? yeah, okay. inclu- like like yeah, Northeast Ohio even like there's an electronic scene and even that's smaller and there's like a dance scene, but there's not. It's definitely not like performing bands who use a lot of the stuff that we use, like having synths and like 80s inspired drums and stuff like that. I personally only know of maybe a hand, like two or three friends who do this, but even they're not really super active. And that's something that I look at as like, I think it's kind of cool because there's, a, there's so many bands of like other types of music. There's so many punk bands, there's right. so many indie bands, like a lot of good ones, but like it's just so much of it, you know what I mean? Saturated. It is, yeah. but it's a, there's a lot of great bands in Cleveland, but you know, we're, we're going to be a little bit different. So I think we'll be able to fit on some, some, some bills that are going to be not exactly similar. Like I think we could play like an indie show and like not be completely out of left field it's uh, there there are definitely bands that i you know we we know of not from cleveland that do this and it, it works and it's cool um it, you know it, it'll it'll work but there's there's no like existing like retro wave like scene right. that you know that really happens here we're not trying to create one either we're just trying to like do what we do in in the the already existing cleveland you know the indie scene as it is you know what i mean like mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, there's there's nothing really happening like this uh, that we found. If there is, please get in touch with yeah, us. Yeah, right. 216-687-3515. <laughs> yeah, You're still looking for that med student, yeah. by the way. Yeah, my heart's not getting any better. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what's uh, what, what are you guys looking to do past this? You get the album out, trying to uh, hit up some festivals? Uh... Yeah, so we're going to get the album out. We're going to get the live thing cemented, which is really exciting for us. Once we get there, it's just going to kind of be like... You know, that'll be the fun part. We're just going to book a ton of shows, you know, probably locally, probably regionally, do the whole, you know, long weekend. But uh, just being being able to, do, to play it live, I think, is going to be a good victory. We're, we're going to just enjoy playing live for a while before we try to super scale. And we'll be writing throughout. We write a ton. We have a ton of demos right now that we just haven't finished because we're trying to finish up all the stuff we're doing now. So, you know, probably another record later on, you know. Probably I would I don't know when to put a timetable on it, but yeah, right. don't, don't pigeonhole us. <laughs> yeah, now. I'm not gonna put any. Don't but, forget uh, to hold you to it. Yeah, yeah, and 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 we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be pressing this puppy on cassettes. So I hope you're a cassette fan. I know you're not, Graham, but, uh, but uh, yeah, I got a cassette cassettes. player in the car, so this is like like a huge deal to me. Like, right, this is like big time. Like it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah like, we, we have cassettes. like these like sort of like 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 micro goals, like personal goals that yeah. aren't gonna really bring us any sort of success, but they're gonna personally satisfy us. Like having a cassette tape is not really like a I mean, on the mass scale, if you were talking to a successful person, they'd be like, "What? What is that?" It's not a real, but to me, it's not a smart business to me, decision. I'm already collecting cassettes, so to have my own music on cassette, that's huge. That's a huge deal. Yeah, and I know, oh, I know, uh, a lot of people out there love it. Yeah, cassettes cool. It, I, it, you know, it's like it's not as popular as vinyl, but it's cheaper. So I really feel like it that's cheaper. It's like the yeah. next. It's the next thing, but it's not going to be as scarce and as expensive. So it's like a lightweight collector's, you know, yeah. analog. Uh, We're also path. before we forget. Um, so we have the video for the, the one song, which is more of just like a you know a cut up clip show, if you will. But we're gonna do a proper video for our next single yep. that's called Teenage Behavior, and we're mixing that one right now, and that should come out hopefully soon. And then we'll do you, do- who's uh, do you have anybody lined up to uh, do the video yet? Or uh, we got a couple guys in mind. They don't know it yet, but they're gonna they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna be hearing us. about it. Oh, yeah. they're gonna know. They're gonna, they, if you're listening, you know who you, you are. You know. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we, have, we have a treatment and everything 
finalized, so it's going to be good. We're excited about that, too. <coughs> and, Very uh, cool. Yeah, you know. Just trying to... Music, videos, what else? You want? Cassettes. Cassettes. Good times, what else man? do you want hey. from us, Graham? Yeah. Hey, I want it all. Jesus. You know? Leave it all, all on Jesus? the airwaves. <laughs> You can, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but you got to mention all I, the other. Why gods. do I feel weird saying that on? What, yeah, Jesus? Just the way you I feel like I was it. offensive. Say I say God damn it a lot. Oh, okay, yeah. which apparently better. is okay. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I don't believe you, so <laughs> yeah. it's just another word. Yeah, <laughs> that's all it is. All right, let's uh, do a couple more tunes. What do we have here? Just fitting in. You mentioned Radiohead, so we'll do that. All things flannel and what thermal. And uh, retro. And retro. And, and cassettes. And Gina. And Phil Collins. <laughs> <laughs>
are currently listening to Kill Bill from Magnetic Tapes. Before that, their track, Into the Air. This is good. It's old, though. You said it Thanks, was a man. little older. Yeah, this is yeah. an older This is an older one. Oldie but a goodie, mm-hmm. as the kids say. Yep. Can't vote yet, but it's up there. <laughs> but who would it vote for? Oh, no. no. See, we come full circle. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so mad right That's now. Me. Josh is so mad. He's actually leaving. I just filmed the chair with my phone. Good job. So, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, thank you again for uh, coming up. Thank Please you so much for Please give out the, uh, all the info. Right. All right. Facebook, we're at Magnetic Tapes CLE. We are on YouTube. You just search Magnetic Tapes The Power. We got uh, the music video there and a couple other songs. And uh, SoundCloud is Magnetic Tapes Band. It's and our it, hyperlink. Boosh. And you, you said the uh, the album should be out springish. Yeah, we're looking at late spring. Late spring, May. The month of May is what the goal is. It should be around there. Cool. Yep. Tell me what I am, and uh, yeah, then look for some live shows, maybe at the Happy Dog. Very cool. I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna give a shout out too. I gotta Wait, give a shout out before I go. Outs. I'm gonna shout out Leroy, my dog. Okay. <laughs> just well, to, just, just in case cat. he's listening, Lee, you're the man. I'll see you when I get home. Oh, he did that. Yeah, you're, I had you're to. Cat. We, we did not plan. No, she's. I'm not shouting out my cat. No. You, oh. no I thought doesn't. about this like <laughs> two days ago. I'm like, I gotta shout Leroy out. But it just seems like I shouldn't be on the radio and not give Lee a shout out, even well, though yeah. he's probably sleeping right now. He'd be so mad at you. Yeah. yeah. It just. I wouldn't feel right about it. You know what I mean? It just. I shut out my cats, but they're a bunch of a holes. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing it. Yeah yeah. 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 She like he got to my house before he got here, and she immediately started clawing his jacket. Yep. Yeah. She was like, it up immediately. Come on, man. Cats. Yeah. <laughs> why do I even have you? <laughs> DC, if you weren't home if you when weren't I got free, there, if no you big were, deal. Nah, I just get, I just no go out and grab another one, you know? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm trying <laughs> right, to get rid yeah, of Yeah, that's it. Well, hey. okay, fine. You want one of mine? No, I think I'm good. Thank you so much, Graham, Thanks, for having Graham. us on. We really appreciate Anytime, it. Anytime, keep me posted, and uh, yeah, we're gonna when be the back album with comes the out, you guys get the uh, yeah. I want I want the key tar in here. We're gonna be back. We're hitting with that. you up. We're gonna, right. be, we're gonna be back. We're gonna be hitting you up. All right, good. Talking about the issues. I mean, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, guys. You all got right. it. All right, that's it for me. And this week of all things flannel and thermal, I'll be back next Wednesday, same time. Blah blah blah. See you, losers. Like a two dollar.